Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I am your host, Anon Jr., and uh, while invitations are being sent and players are rolling in, uh, if you've been watching the last couple of weeks, you know I've been doing a playthrough of Trine Enchanted Edition. And much like how Portal ended much, much too quickly, uh, and so we played Portal 2, even though it's technically a little bit newer than I was planning on uh, taking the series. Uh, although, now that I think about it, uh, I can now start describing Portal 2, and now trying to, as being a decade ago. I, I How's that it. feel? Yeah, I was going to leave a moment of silence for that. So, um, the graphics are... We're, we're going to be playing the complete edition of Trine 2. That means that it is Trine 2, the Goblin Menace expansion, and the bonus level, the Dwarven Caverns that came out at some point long after that. Uh, the graphics are going to look very similar because this is the engine that was used when they r released the Enchanted Edition of the first Trine. So, so same same graphics engine, same general uh, style ambiance, a as it were. And Trine 2 was originally released for Windows... OS X, PlayStation, uh, Xbox Live in 2011, and on Linux in 2012. And just like before, we got three players that can, uh, that can work up to three players that can work cooperatively together. You can do it yourself, just uh, rapidly switching between each of the three characters. Good luck with that. Um, We've got some new game mechanics in play with uh, some magnetism and all sorts of fun stuff like that. Well, hopefully fun stuff like that. Um, the, <laughs> yeah. So the, uh, the complete story came out around 2013, 2014. The article's a little nonspecific on that one uh, because... Uh, the updates to get the 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 thing with all the expansions out uh, the, it was a little more scattershot in its release, and it didn't exactly make it to all the different platforms either. Like uh, Xbox 360 never got the complete edition because Trine 2 did not sell as well as a part of the Xbox network. So uh, that that is one of those fun things. Uh, there we go. Uh, Ray Est is on. Arcadia should be joining soon. Unless I need to send another invite. Can we talk about these uh, player limitation settings? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, because I had them off the last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that is actually the default. Do, do we want... Dumb. Well, yes and no. I mean, on the one hand, it, it was kind of nice with the player levitation when we've played these games before. And by the way, this is the one where I had to end up deleting a bunch of empty slots. Or deleting a bunch of slots to, to make empty. Um, cause, Hold on. Uh, do I need to delete my character to make sure I don't have any saves? Um, you probably should. I thought you had already. I forgot about that until you said what you just said. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if I it's good. I, this I don't... is the one that we played. Yeah, this is the one that we've played the most of. Uh, okay. And that, that is also part of what, because in the first trine, player levitation is off by default. In the second trine, player levitation is on by default. You can turn it off. Sa same as last time, Arcadius. Can we run the password over to him? It 
should still be on the sticky note in front of him. Mm. I'm here. <laughs> you have a lot more confidence than I do. Well, I was looking for a new sticky note, like the same. I mean, really? <laughs> uh, secure to return to the game. Okay. Turn. Save slot. Oh. <laughs> huh? Uh oh. Okay. Uh, um, I'm deleting save slots. Oh, yeah. There we, had, there we go. We had a few of them. I had to delete a couple. Because, uh, again, th this is one that we had. Uh, th th this is the one that we'd played a lot more of. Uh, I am torn on whether or not to turn player levitation or leave player levitation on or turn it off. Only because... As much as I like the ease of the wizard just levitating people around instead of trying to figure out how to jump, build, hop, and otherwise maneuver your way around, um, it feels like cheating. I'm not necessarily opposed to cheating, but it feels a little too much like cheating for, for, for this. Does that make sense? And something makes sense, no. and I not like it. Yeah, it can. Okay. Cool. Um. Do Do you want me to leave it at the default medium difficulty, or are we gonna try hard? Or are we gonna switch to easy mode? To the default, personally. Okay, so we'll we'll stick with the default medium. Uh, there is a puzzle hint delay in trying to. And I'm trying to remember uh, what what kind of hints it gave you. Like, is there some little fairy chiming in over your shoulder going, Hey, listen. I mean, obviously not directly, because that's I a think different there was, franchise. It was, I think it was like a texty bubble thing. I'll bump that up to five minutes just to... I mean... Five minutes? We're doing 20-minute clips! I know! If we haven't if we long. if we haven't figured out the puzzle in five minutes, we need help. That's fair. <laughs> um, can you resend me the invite, please? Yes, I can. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, because right. I had to loot all my stuff. Otherwise, I would have had all the cool toys. Yeah, I'm leaving player levitation off. I'm leaving hardcore mode off. Thank you. Um, I'm leaving character mode classic, which means you can only control one of the three characters as opposed to unlimited, which would actually allow you to have three wizards, three, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Interesting. And, yeah. Well, that was an option in the first one, too. And, and I, I just, I, I can't. No. They make it real easy to get that wizard tower stacky thing. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, amongst other things. All right, so let me press start game, and then, and no, and then, and then we'll actually get to. Buttons chosen by a magical artifact <laughs> called the right. Trine. You may have heard another tale of how they met. Awkward place is let going to be awkward. Of their latest adventure. Because uh, somebody Something forgot to delete a save from a previous game. Was taking place in the forest. It was showing off all sorts of fancy swords. <laughs> First of the three heroes was Amadeus. So all this introductory text is coming through again Not for us, again on the stream. The but uh, for you, dear viewer, on YouTube later, it's going to be new. Then there was Pontius the Knight, <laughs> fearless protector of the realm. Who loved good food, drink, and battle. Last but not least was Zoya. A and this time I'm going to pay a little bit closer attention to Amadeus if uh, she's going to go all. She was mysterious. If uh, only the claim is that he's going all schwood with the sandals. Night. Hello, Daniquin. How you doing? Who's that? Oh, he does have sandals. Huh. Mm hmm Okay. All right. Um, I keep feeling like that was a 
XP orb off to the right. Oh, oh, jeez. You guys already ran that far ahead of me. Wait, you're the teal one? Apparently. Oh. Oh. Uh, We're too fat for the bubble together. Oh, the bubble? Seriously? <laughs> mm hmm. I mean. Th this is not exactly the, uh, I mean. Was blocked, but this wouldn't stop the great wizard, Amadeus. With his magic, he could lift objects. <laughs> How many different ways can we get the same stuff? Could also conjure boxes mm -hmm. out of thin air. Oops. So, Danny, this is a game called Trine that we are playing now. And, um, despite all of us being relatively logical, intelligent people in our professional and personal lives, this game makes us look like idiots. Every one of us. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, that's a thing. And it's epic and awesome and fun, even if, you know... Like two-year-olds, we can't we <laughs> double up each other's work yeah. and we don't communicate or we block wait, someone wait, wait, from wait, wait, the wait. exit. Something, something, lack of coordination, something. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I demand to know what's happening. I demand to know what's happening. <laughs> Madness. Madness is happening. Not this again. See, and they're not even good flip-flops. Well, you don't know that. They could be quite comfy. I've had some flip-flops that look cheap as all get out, but we're It's adventuring. I want to watch you jump on a giant mushroom with a flip-flop. Right. I know I said it the last time we went through here, the part that's getting cut out, but it really, really irks me when magic is pluralized like that. I don't know why. It, it's a very irrational. <laughs> Whatever was it was. Had headed out that evening, for there was trouble on the peasant farms. Creeping by. There we go. That's more like it. Drop the hammer. Drop the hammer. I feel like this is the epitome of the phrase Hulk smash. Oop, wrong like, I don't even know which one's me. <laughs> yeah, that is hard. I, I think I've got the red cape. I'm yellow. Nah. Oh. <laughs> No, nope. no, 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 no. Did wait, we miss wait, one? Which one's me? Which one's me? Did we which miss one? Me? I don't know, but I can't find me. Oh, that looks dangerous. Hope not. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. Lock. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, you and I don't ever play this character. I know. Well, no, no, no. It was more. Okay, no, there's 10, so we didn't miss any yet. I've done this kind of yard work. Dandelions, right. The Tri Wizard Cup. Oh, wait, no. Wrong magical artifact. Right infringement. <laughs> The non-infringing cup of three wizards. Late that <laughs> night, Zoya Aww. was concealed in the shadows, hidden from the shimmering moonlight. The Potter Harry in the non-infringing cup of uh, specialness. Oh, 
Oh, that wasn't me. Okay, which one's me? Okay, I'm in the Well, y you say that as if it, as if you reliably get the the same color each time. Well, I have been. I've been yellow all three times so far. Uh, I was aqua with Amadeus the first go round. No falling. Without the falling. Oh, okay. I mean, I was going to be mad if they gave you a level that you could fall to your death as the introduction. We get all the boxes and all the bubbles. Uh, good question. Wide open courtyard makes you think right at the end. <laughs> uh, did anybody see what our last XP count was at? Because I can't seem to get into the tab menu yet. Because, you know, mm -hmm. we're still in the introductions. Pretty sure we got them all, though. Then she saw a glimmering Oop. light moving on top of the old church. Oh, somebody started it up. Hmm. Hello, Beach Duck. Oh. These kinds of games. Hmm. There we go. This evening? You, you said, oh, there we go. There's all 30. You, you said that like your uh, apartment doesn't have internet issues most nights. Oh, story time. How inconvenient. <laughs> That's why she's my favorite. <laughs> oh, there's a perfectly good explanation for oh, I'm waiting for a perfectly good explanation for this. We don't really know yet. Something strange is going on. A new venture. Shall we go then? A new venture or a new adventure? Because I do believe those are two she's slightly adventure. different things. For the heroes the <laughs> Either way, it's profitable for her. Yeah, I know, exactly. Amadeus worried for his family, while Pontius looked forward to their new quest. The, 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 this is a cool game, Beach Duck. What fabulous treasure they might find. Uh, I think it's still on sale if you want to get in on it. Uh, I'm 90% sure your laptop could handle it, but I wouldn't try doing this with a touchpad. I would use an actual mouse, not not a touchpad. Does Beach Duck have a Steam account? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Can but... Beach Duck have a Steam account? Oh, Beach Duck can totally have a Steam account, but uh, let, let's. Because take... I will buy this for her right now. <laughs> buy buy the whole collection because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure. I will buy it for her right now. She will play with us. Well, I'm sure you have a mouse, and now that there's no dog to stare at it and not do anything about it. Oh, oh, not that mouse. All right, let's take a li real short break, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll start the forlorn wilderness. Well, that was fun, unless we died. Then it was either hilarious or tragic, you know, depending on how it went down. I hope that you enjoyed the series so far. The next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow's a live stream day. The current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. And if you haven't already, follow on Twitch and you'll get notified when I go live, allowing you to chat along as we record the next six episodes. And if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel here. It really helps out. If you click the bell, you get notified of all the new content produced from future games revisited episodes, coffee craft live streams, instrument repair, upgrading, construction, uh, instrument upgrading instruction, that is and anything else that strikes my fancy. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, quips, queries, quandaries, quotes, comments, complaints, quibbles, leave them all in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.